morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everyone is having a fabulous morning so far. You hear my wind chimes in the background. Um, got a nice little breeze going. Very, very excited and happy about that. Um, so for our mantra, meditation, gratitude, I wanted to focus on releasing what no longer serves you. We all have a tendency to hold on to stuff and I'm not talking about physical stuff. I'm talking about the mental baggage that we all have. We all have a tendency to hold on to that. I'm gonna tell you and this has nothing to do with what I'm speaking about. I am craving some pineapple. <laughs> so, but I'm done with this video. I need to go eat some pineapple. That has nothing to do with this video, but we'll move, we'll move back on topic. All right. But releasing and letting go of our emotional baggage and our mental baggage. And physical baggage would just would, would be or not all, but the physical stuff that you have, you know, that you have around you. But with the emotional baggage and you're holding on to things that have happened in the past. My question is, why are you holding on to it? Is it because you regret what that person did or what you did? You're upset because a person maybe mistreated you or whatever the case may be? That is what it is. Have you handled that? Have you handled that in terms of, did you do anything about that to deal with that situation? Did you speak to that person? Did you end up cutting that person off? Or are you just kind of living with it and acting as though it just doesn't exist? A lot of the times when we hold on to some, I always say a lot of times when we don't articulate how we're feeling, about a particular situation, even if we can't articulate it at the moment and we're just there kind of taking the experience all in, even if we don't articulate it at the moment but art but articulate it down the line, even, th even that's fantastic. Did you articulate to that person why you regret what they did, why you regret what you did? Because it may be guilt. Part of letting guilt go is speaking to the person that you feel as though you've offended and now feel guilty about the actions that you took or the words that you said. Release yourself from that by having a conversation. Tiffany, that person, I have, there's no way for me to get in touch with that person. You know, that person's transitioned. <sighs> Write a letter have a conversation out loud, act like that person is there sitting in a chair and having a conversation with that person. I promise you, I mean, it may sound a little insane, but I promise you that that actually works because what you're looking for is that release. And it'll be interesting to find out that some of the time, I don't know if it's a lot of the time, but some of the time you may bring that up to the person and they have no idea what you're talking about because they have mentally, they've moved on from it. But then, yeah, that was five years ago. What are you talking about? Why are you still holding on to it? You need to figure out why you're holding on to a thing. How is it, how is holding on to that thing making your life better? If you can't answer that question, then it's not making your life better. If you are sitting there trying to do a search and rescue to figure out how this particular thought, experience, emotion, whatever, how it's making your life better, if you can't say, oh, Tiffany, this is how it's making my life better. Ugh. If you can't just spit that out, then you gotta think about it. It's not serving you. It's, it's not making your life better. It's, it's, it, it, I mean, it's serving to make you miserable, but it's not serving you in a positive way. And if it's not serving you, then you've got to know, you've got to make it okay with yourself to release that thing. 
I release what no longer serves me. I am free from what no longer serves me. I can see what is there to help me. I understand why I need to let this thing go. It is okay to let this emotion go. It is okay to let this experience go. It's okay to let this person go because it could be a person that's no longer serving you. And clearly, I don't mean in the master-servant sense. Do they mean you any good? Are you only getting harm and heartbreak and getting upset? Are these the only things that this person is bringing into your life? And if that's the case, like if you sit down, I'm like, well, how has this person benefited you in your life? And you are sitting there, you can't think of anything. Again, you gotta do a search and rescue on, oh my God, like, you know, let me think about that. That stuff like that should be able to just roll off the tongue. You should be able to give that to me, or the, at least give me three instances off the top of your head why a person is, how a person is positively impacting your life, right? And if they're not, then my question to you is why are they around? Tiffany, I've known this person since I was a child. Okay. Not everyone is in your life for a lifetime. Some people are just in your life for a season. And that's it. And that's okay. You've gotta let that person go. And it's something that I had to master throughout my life. Um, when I started changing and focusing on my spirituality, people started falling off. The universe pretty much, they were like, all right, that's enough. And really, I, it, and, and it, it, it was a traumatic experience. Um, and they just, and they, the universe pretty much just ripped those people from my life. And that was the end of it. And it was it was in such a way where I can go back and we can sort through whatever. It was there was there was no coming back from the way a lot of these relationships ended. By the third time this happened, I finally took a step back and recognized what was going on. Because the first time it happened, I'm like, well, what did I do? I don't understand. You know, how can I do better? And put the blame on me, not understanding that the soul contract, your soul contract with this person is done. And a lot of a lot of the time, we don't understand that our soul contract, assuming that we know what a soul contract is, we don't understand that our soul contract with this person, with this experience, place, or thing is done. It's come to its conclusion. It's, it's gone as far as it needed to go. Whether or not you've learned what you needed to learn from it, it's, it's wholly another conversation, but this soul contract has gone as far as it needed to go. Now what? That person, place, or thing is removed from your life. And if you are holding on to it, then it is traumatic. If you don't understand what's going on, it is traumatic. So, being able and not being attached, which is why they say, you know, don't be attached to stuff. Because when it's time for it to go, it's gonna go, period. No matter how badly you want that thing, it's gonna go. So understanding that even with a person, if they don't serve you, then you need to let them go. You need to be okay with it, not feel guilty about it, and you need to let them go in love and peace. You need to let them go. No ill will because that will only compound what you're going through and you don't want to send that energy out there because the uh, universe will kindly give you that energy back. So, I release. Today, I release what doesn't serve me. I thank you. Thank you that I recognize all that doesn't serve me. Thank you, universe, God, source, whatever. From Thank you for helping me for giving me the courage to release what doesn't serve me thank you for helping me to recognize thank you that i recognize 
What does it serve me? Thank you that I am happy. Thank you that I have the strength to move on and to move forward. Happy, med happy meditating. Until next time, love and light. Bye.